Access denied. But why? Imagine a traffic jam caused by a concert or sporting event. The unusual volume of cars on the road makes it difficult, even impossible, for the average commuter to get to their destination. That's what happens in a distributed denial of service, or DDoS, attack. In a DDoS attack, a perpetrator intentionally floods a system, like a server, website, or other network resource, with fake traffic. By overwhelming the system, the activity triggers a system to deny even legitimate users access. The attack begins when the hacker identifies and exploits a vulnerability in one master system. And through that master, it gains control over other vulnerable systems by introducing malware or bypassing authentication controls. A host of an infected system is referred to as a bot, and the attacker controls the network of bots, or botnet, through a command and control server. There can be tens, hundreds, or thousands of bots in the botnet. The attacker then uses its bot army to invade the target domain and knock it offline. There can be network-centric attacks that consume bandwidth, protocol attacks that target network and transport layer protocols, and application layer attacks that overload application services or databases. It's near impossible to prevent a DDoS attack, but victims can minimize the impact of an attack through security assessments to identify vulnerabilities as well as network security controls.